A class action lawsuit set to get underway today has been put on hold. This after a federal judge grants a 30 day extension. A number of FAMU students filed the lawsuit against the state of Florida and the state university system over what they are calling inequitable funding between HBCUs and traditionally white institutions. ABC 27's Candace Blake joins us live outside the federal courthouse in downtown Tallahassee tonight. So Candace, why do the students and their legal team think this is so important? Ava Channing, the lawyer representing all of the students, says that this is a human rights issue and that by ignoring what they're calling institutional rights isn't going to solve anything. We do deserve to be treated equally as those students that are literally across the tracks from us. Six FAMU students have filed a civil suit against the state of Florida and the Board of Governors for the State University System of Florida. That filing was held off for another 30 days as federal judge Robert Hinkle requested that plaintiffs make changes. I think that when we refile the complaint, it'll be um, you know, done so with some more specificity. The judge took issue with several parts of the filing, one being the list of defendants. The defendants list is ambitious and currently lists the state, Governor DeSantis, and the University System Board of Governors. The second issue being the validity of white universities duplicating programs already being offered at FAMU, programs such as combining their engineering program with FSU. Plaintiffs worry that things like this don't allow them to have their own identity. Another issue. This family is not the only HBCU who is receiving um, or not receiving the proper amount compared to, the, to other PWIs across the nation. Court documents touching on the current housing shortage is blamed on a lack of adequate funding. Students say that the goal is not to win money from this lawsuit, rather to level the playing field between traditional white and historical black institutions. So there's no way to move forward unless we, we right the wrong. Attorney Dubin says that he wouldn't be surprised if after the 30 days, the state requested another dismissal. Live in Tallahassee, I'm Candace Blake, ABC 27.